all right well i was at my deer dealer i just kind of did a quick little walk around of the q850m new standard mower and while i was up there i looked down here and actually seen that they had a 2024 5060 e and it's got the new premium cab um actually i i believe new for this model is the loader arms because those are totally different loader arms than what were on my 5075 if you guys watch my channel i had like a 21 probably uh 2021 5075e that i had the zeidberg set up on the front and uh, really liked the zeidberg but uh, I didn't put it on my 50 or my 4066 because to add the push bar and stuff, you have to cut a portion of it out. And I didn't want to make that tractor forever have to have a three point on the front. They're not super popular around this area. So, um, but that is definitely a new bracket. That's a big giant cast bracket instead of the fabricated bracket that was on mine. If you want to look at it, you could easily go back and look at the Zeidberg setup that I had. I had to take those off. Um, another thing that I noticed, I didn't go talk to a salesman. I really don't know the one salesman that's here anymore. All the salesmen are gone at this location that I knew. Um, but I was kind of looking around it before I climb inside. And I know these wheels are different. I don't know... I was trying to figure out i almost feel like that wheel kind of has like a big cast ring in between it see that that looks like a cast a cast ring or a steel ring i know that's different and it's kind of stood off a little bit almost like it's got a built-in spacer there or something but this is a 2024 5060 e two steps very tall we're gonna climb up in this thing and i will just let you know a couple things a hundred percent that are new if you get the premium i this is the premium cab is what they call it now the only reason i know is i actually have a subscriber that has a 5075e 2024 and he was telling me about some of the stuff and i'm like dang it are you serious i almost would have bought another 5075 or they make a 5060 which is this they make a 5067 and a 5075 you know in that in the one frame machine then when they go to a 5090 which is that it's it's got a longer you know a bigger frame machine is what they call it it's kind of the larger frame of the the five series tractors um that one obviously our back tires are lined up and you can see the front tire is out further than um, the 5060 here that I'm in. I believe that jumps to a four cylinder and we are three cylinder. But the thing with the three cylinder in the five series, it does not have regen or anything. It's just straight engine. You have an exhaust coming out, that's it, um, which is kind of nice. But just the things that I'm noticing and that I know of, buddy seat factory buddy seat in a premium cab uh five series um tractor on the east side now the m's you know they're fancier but they're a lot more money so it's kind of nice that deer decided to put a buddy seat when you go to the premium cab another thing sunroof um let's see how do you unclip your sunshade so if you do use your loader then you can you know you can see you know like loading straw or hay bales up on a trailer that's one main thing that you would probably use with that the nice thing is, is i'm kind of a sunroof guy i do like having sunroofs in tractors it's been a long time since i've had a sunroof in a tractor but i would absolutely love to have that sunroof um it's nice having a sunshade in it it's got a rear view mirror I'm actually surprised. Never mind. There you go. I was about to say, I'm surprised it doesn't have a visor. It does. It's got a slide down visor. I mean, this is stuff that, if you go look at other tractors, I know everybody says, oh, you just like that green paint. Green paint's expensive. Honestly, go, 
go price the machine, go sit in the machine, and just see see what you're buying. Everybody gives me crap. I know my buddy's going to call me and be like, yeah, you should have kept your Kubota. He, he loves his Kubota. I get it. My dad loves his Kubota. Me and the Kubota didn't get along that well at all. I mean, I, it, it just, it wasn't as good a tractor to me as what I have now. Yes, I've had problems with the deer, 100%. The main problem with it is, I guarantee you, brand new model year. Everybody tells you, don't buy the brand new model, which I'm sitting in the brand new model. But with that snow cab tractor, I got that heavier front diff and that was its, its, its Achilles heel. Sorry, I'm still stepped up. It's hard for me to talk. And you know me, I talk a lot. I know you guys complain, you talk too much. Um, anyways, this whole setup over here is totally different. This is really nice. I'm not quite sure if I love the little shallow cup holder, but you probably, yep, <laughs> I, I know deer pretty well. You've got a nice deep cup holder here. It takes almost my whole hand. You've got a cubby. Having the buddy seat, you lose, I think we had another cubby there, but I do like the buddy seat. Um, I actually have a buddy seat for my 5075 that I never put in. I've got the console, you know, the interior panel piece, the factory buddy seat and everything. Um, it's still got rollout windows, which I don't necessarily miss that in my 4066. I mean, they're kind of nice, but it's not that big a deal. Um, you know, your here's your throttle. That seems like, I know this is a little different. I can't really tell you. They probably don't have. They've got a four series. I was gonna say, maybe they have an older, that actually, no, that's got the newer wheels like this. I'll have to see what that tractor is over there. Maybe they have a older uh, five series tractor that we could look at the console. But the nice thing is, it well i was pointing to that and that's not it is electric pto or i mean um your electric draft arms um it is not here's your draft for up and down uh what is that is that your four-wheel drive i think it's your four-wheel drive see i'm doing a review and i don't have a salesman out here but um that's foot throttle it's still got foot throttle we're just kind of looking around we're just going to look around and you guys can notice stuff you might if you see something go ahead and comment um i don't know if i necessarily like how far up the the loader deal is the loader controls but that's easily you know i can slide the seat forward i'm a short little guy um but your draft arms are right there but then it's got the electric uh draft arm up and down which is kind of nice when he was telling me he had the full electric like what i had in the four series i really like it if you're doing a bunch of three-point work doing this i'm not saying this is hard but doggone man when you are just like all the time doing snow picking the box up putting it down picking the box up putting it down if you're mowing a, a tight spot lifting the mower up turning putting it down lifting it up going up hill you will you're already doing enough stuff with the shuttle and everything else this will wear you out that's kind of nice you want it up up and see the thing you notice with john deere when you go in and and you're grabbing controls that you normally use a lot like this this is a handle you can rest your hand there because they know you're not driving on pavement so you know you can be driving along you know here we are i'm driving i'm driving Oh, I need to pick up PTO. Bam. I just picked it up. I need to put it down. Bam. Put it down. And then normally what happens with the electric like that in bigger tractors, you can set the height of it. So then when you push down, just like in my 4 Series, when I push it down, it goes down to the height that I have it set at. When you push it up, it goes all the way up. Or uh, I don't remember if you hold it maybe and then you let off, maybe it'll go up to that spot and stop. I'd have to check that and see. So don't quote me on that um it looks like this is pto i don't know and it's the same you know you push it down and then you can just snap it back up um this looks like four-wheel drive i'm not quite sure what that is 
Oh, you know what? It's with the draft link. This is probably draft control. I'm being stupid. Um, I know you guys are probably saying that's draft control. It's draft. <laughs> it's draft control. I, I'm sure because it's with the draft links. Um, we got. Oh, I just turned the rear wiper on. Um, we have a USB charger, and that is probably for your Bluetooth radio. Let's see. Yep, it's got the Bluetooth radio like what mine has in it. So that's probably your aux port. Um, that has headlights, and then it has a clock. So I don't know what that would do. Um, and why do we... Oh, there's your... That's a different setting for your PTO. I don't remember what they call it. Uh, charging port and all that. I do kind of wish they still had as many cubbies. That's kind of weird. I don't know why they put that there. That's kind of like... That's as big as the one cubby that I had in my Kubota, like up here in the front. It was really stupid, and they say no, no ash, so that's not an ashtray. I don't know what, I don't know what that would be. That's kind of a weird shape, something. I probably would have just made this all one thing, made one deeper, if it were me, but I'm not the designer. I mean, that, that takes my full fist all the way down in it, so it's the same depth as this other cup holder um anyways but other than that i mean it has where's that it's got an adjustable seat and everything else i was gonna say there it is you have to have the key oh no that's not that's my lumbar this thing adjusts all kinds of different ways i was thinking it was an air ride seat i think it is an air ride seat you have to have the key on Where's it at? No, it's not an air ride. That might be, no, that's your glide. So that's, that should release it to where it glides and then that locks it. Um, I said it's still got a foot throttle. It's got right hand door, uh, you know, inner handle and stuff like that. A lot of tractors anymore. Um, I think even my 5075, you had to, uh, you had to buy that, I believe, or was that the Kubota? That might have been the Kubota, but I think the premium cab. No, it was it was my 5075. I remember I had to put the door handle kit on it. I remember putting the, the hand grab bar on it, and then I had to change something with the battery door. You can go back and look at the setup. But uh, anyways, I really do like this thing. If I had If I had more money, I would have... One of these, I might have that 5090, because that thing, that seems like a hoss. I don't know. Let's go check this other tractor real quick, and we will see. That thing seems tall, too. Seems taller than my other one, but, I mean, that 90 definitely is. She, I mean, I'm short, but that thing's up there. This looks like it's got the newer wheels on it. And, oh, it's 5075E. I mean, this this would be my flavor. Oh, no premium cab. Maybe this is an older... Maybe this is older. That is a different wheel. Or maybe it's got, you know, like I said, some different deal. So let's get in this cab. This is the older style cab. So this is what I had. Um, all your draft controls here. Like I said, I thought they changed that up there. So a uh, really big cup holder. Really big cubby. I mean, it'd take like my full fist plus some... Um, Here's your PTO, just kind of like the other one, but reversed a little bit. And see the, I mean, this seat, let me, no, I mean, the seat could go back a little bit, but this loader control is different. That cab, maybe that cab, that cab does look a little different. Uh, let me see. All these seats always adjust differently. There it is. Nope, this seat's all the way back. I just need to recline it because it's leaning way forward. But see, I'm closer to the loader control and I'm closer to the pedals and everything. So the fancier seat, it actually sli slides back further than what this seat does, if I had to guess. But decent cubby. When I was pushing snow, you know, these, it, it was always nice and comfortable. Um, your heater controls and stuff, but no sunroof regular flip down visor instead of pull down visor as long as you have a visor i think you're good 
um and then your pto stuff is all back here another cup holder here i used to use it as a cubby um cigarette i guess it where was the cigarette lighter right there i'd say i knew it had one but that's all it has it doesn't have the usb ports and stuff like that so this is the older cab they don't have the radio in it yet but anyways and i know that one that one has the new leds in it also but that cab is a little different so that cab actually had an inside handle also that i noticed this one doesn't have it up there this one does have the the newer style bracket so that was newer than than what i had on my tractor what's this big boy Ooh, 6105 I don't even have that kind of money to think about that. I can't even price it. They charge me to price it. Can't even do it. I'll show you that handle. It's got a little handle in there. And I know it's something little. It probably cost them five bucks to put in. But like Kubota just doesn't have that stuff, you know? And I mean, I've looked at other tractors too. I'm not, you know, a fanboy of, I mean, I guess I am a fanboy of deer. But anyways, this does are these different fenders even i mean that looks like maybe a wider fender see that dish in this i don't really remember that on mine but we actually have one sitting right here no that's the same fender but well just look at the tire size a 16930 and what's this premium have on it a 16930 it sure seems like this thing sits up higher but anyways well there's a quick little walk around if you can listen to a squirrel talk about a tractor um there's a walk around of a new 5060 with the new premium cab on it i uh i'd probably be upset if i found out that this thing was a lot cheaper than my new four series snow cab tractor but i didn't know the changes were coming out um it's already got the step on it for your passenger side like i say that's you know when you have the right hand door kit let's go see if this one has a right hand door kit on it because i think that's one of the options that my buddy told me about yeah see no right hand door kit so you have no handle no right hand door kit no step or anything so then when you buy the kit for the standard cab this is just a, a standard cab not a deluxe cab um you have to get the kit which comes with the step the latch and everything else and then you can put that door kit in it so anyways incandescent lights compared to the new leds new leds are pretty pimp so pretty bright i was just gonna see if anything really stood out to me back here i mean you guys can kind of see it maybe you'll notice something that i'm not noticing but i really do like that tractor Whoa, golly look at that antenna i mean it's like a cb antenna i'd probably put something short on it or take that stem off or something holy cow you can talk to i mean you can listen to radio stations in texas with that thing from kansas um anyways and if you guys know what's going on with these wheels let me know about these wheels those wheels wheels have me intrigued because they're bolted to a center section in there oh well maybe that's maybe that's what i'm seeing i'm seeing the lip right there that they're bolted to all right a little bit different design because i remember i swapped i swapped my spacing on my tires and it was a different design but it's not i was thinking i i think they do have a cast option for these now to where you can get cast centers um it's always nice to have ballast weight especially if you're running the loader so anyways well hopefully you like that little walk around sorry i wasn't uh as intuitive as probably a very knowledgeable salesman but uh hopefully hopefully i got you some insight if you're looking for a new tractor i'd really like to have that thing i don't know why i'd love to be a farmer so that's to me that's a, a baby farmer tractor 75 horse you're not quite there 90 horse you're almost there you could be a junior farmer but anyways hope you enjoyed the video tried not to talk too much sorry for the voice i'm all plugged up and we'll see you guys later thanks for watching